All right, lads, before we start today's yarn, I want to shout out Manscaped. They're supporting today's episode of The Search. They've launched a new product, the Lawnmower 4.0, right? It's the best clipper for shaving down there. Legit, it's the best clipper. You know all them other clippers, they cut you, they graze you, this and that. It's the best clipper and I got a, I got a code for you. If you go to manscaped.com, you get 20% off by using the code the search. You can click the link in the description, it'll be there. I'll go to manscaped.com. Make sure you use the code the search, you get 20% off. Gun clipper, lad, go check it out. Eats. Nancy and Hotel. Yeah, yeah. We had a thing running there every first Saturday night of every month. We had a M's like a battle night running there for about 18 months. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm battling, I think it was like the finals or something. And um, this come, this come, we'll, all, we'll always win the battles. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm Where's my rapper? This yeah, it's my <laughs> rapper. But, um, I mean, just like, you know, how am I going to get this cunt? Oh, fuck, and uh, I've finished my verse and that. And we're sharing the same mic, and I, Put the mic down my balls. Yeah, yeah. And I rub, you know, all sweaty and that, and passing the mic. And he's like, <laughs> I fucking, the judge is like, that's your mic, you used to catch. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> all right, let's open. Welcome back. I'm Spanya, and welcome back to my podcast, The Search. Today I got on another rapper, another one of the rappers from Sydney. Been, been rapping for a long time. Skis, Skis Loren. Um, Rapping long, long before I started rapping. I'm um, talking like 20 years now, back battling. I'm only just learning about this now, back talking about battling at pubs, this and that. <laughs> um, yeah, bro, what's going on, lad? What do? Fuck all, bro. Yeah. Doing what it does. Bad. Start off straight off the, off the bat, lad. Back, how long ago now? 20 years ago, you started rapping? 18 years ago? It's 20 years ago, I started, I first started DJing, uh, 2000. Oh, no way. Yeah. So, so I started DJing when I was 16, going to raise and that. Oh, hectic. So happy, happy hardcore, hardcore and that. And I got yeah, over yeah, that. Yeah. Started mixing hip hop. Then um, I went to, uh, there was a hip hop night at Arctic Hotel with Mass MC. Yeah, yeah. Put it on. Um, um, so I went there and comes to DJing and that. And I fucking just hit the board. I said, well, fucking, I got records and that. Can I fucking bring him down next week and DJ? He's like, yeah, fucking enough. No way. Yeah, so I just. That's how I just started DJing from there. That's yeah. hectic. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't even know that was a thing. They were doing that at like pubs and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like, smart. Yeah. Fuck, you get about 20 people there back then, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't a thing back then. Yeah, it wasn't right? a thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, Aussie, Aussie hip-hop was in its in its infant stages. Sort yeah, of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, but that's one of the first questions I want to ask you, bro, because I know like there's always been those circles of like those Aussie hip-hop Lads, you know what I mean? They wear like American baseball caps and this and that. But I know you're not from them circles. Yeah. I know you're from like the, the streets. Sydney, come up like a searcher. Yeah. So like we come up the same, bro. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Not that I knew you, but like we come up the same way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, bro, I know I, amongst us, all right, rapping was like, for lack of a better way of saying, the reason I'm saying this, all right, don't, I'm not trying to be harsh, is but I used to rap on the sly, right? In boys' homes. I used to rap on the sly in boys' homes. Yeah. It was full onky stuff. Bro, I used yeah. to full hide it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I used to fall off, like, it was something I'd do on the sly. i come out, come out the cell. Bro, I remember the first time I bust a rap, they just walked away. I was in the middle of the jail yard. They just <laughs> spread. Bro, like, yeah, honestly, it, they, they looked like, it was like you're a full onkus. Yeah. So I can imagine, like, how was it back then? Like, it, 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 you know the lads you were, like, rapping with in Sydney searches? So, like, yeah. It was me, me brother Enta and Sky High. Yeah. yeah. It, it, that, that's who you started with? Yeah. How'd that come about, bro? Um, well, as I said, like, I'd be DJing and that, um, going to MC battles. Um, and my little brother, he was, he was just always mixing on my turntables and at home. Enter. Yeah, little yeah, Enter. Yeah. Um, and my cousin was going out with Sky's auntie. Yep, yep. And then he's always going, oh, you got a mate, you got a mate, listen to that, you know, she's my rapper, listen to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah, wait to her. So Where are you was, staying at this time? Um, I was between Hurstville and Lilyfield. And Lilyfield, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down White Street? Yeah, White Street, yeah. That's funny, bro, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. well, like, as a kid, grew up around White Street, yeah. in, in the White Street Flats. Yeah. Yeah, one of the boys, Laurie, but he ended up being a famous rugby, and you probably wouldn't know him. But, um, yeah, 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 sorry. And yeah, then, so, um, so I was DJing at, I think, um, it was a Funkles gig. So, Sky's come, I've, I've met Sky, right, I went to three. Um, she gave me a, a CD of of what song she had. Um, she was rapping already? Yeah, she was rapping. Yeah, like, yeah. She, she, I took her home and listened to her and I was like, fuck, 
this this is dope. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, she's talk, you know, talking to Pig Latin, you know, rapping yeah, Pig yeah. Latin, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, fuck. Yeah. For a female to... Like, she's dressed like one of the boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, Sergio, yeah. Polo and all that. Like, yeah. fuck, you know, she was fresh count, this yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. Rapping. That stood out. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ra- rapping in straight lingo, talking about straight shit. Yeah. Like, well, well, fucking, do you know what I mean? I got another gig. I had another gig a couple of weeks. What year is this? Prior. Would have been like 2006, oh, yeah, 2007. Yeah, yeah. Cause I went school. I went to school with her, Gleb. Yeah. I didn't even know she rapped. Cause yeah. we're the same age. We're in the same class. But yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I was thinking. What year is this? But yeah, yeah it would have been about I think 2006, 2007. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's when when we started. Like we, we, when we when we first started, like Sydney searches, it was like MySpace, Bebo days. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was, heard of Bebo. Yeah, it like was, was like before Facebook. Yeah, it was way before Facebook. And I, I wasn't into none of that shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I, was, I, I come out of jail and they're like, oh, fucking, you, you, you got to get on fucking Facebook. You got to uh, you got to get on MySpace. And I'm like, what the fuck is MySpace? <laughs> what the fuck is this yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, and I'll so, tell you, that's where it's at. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's, that's where it's at. That's actually my 2017. I had that moment. I got out and one of these like, but you got to get on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, you're nothing. Yeah, like, like that. So, I, was, yeah. I, I wasn't into that shit. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, was, I was into thieving and fucking, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, like What's this technology shit? Yeah, 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 I wasn't yeah. into it. <laughs> so fucking, she's made the MySpace for me and that. And then um, it just went from there. Like we we're getting like we're getting a thousand plays a day. You know, like that, that that was fucking that, that was big plays back Cracker then. Back you know then. What I mean? yeah, like, yeah. That was fucking huge. Yeah. Like, other countries, you know, getting 30, 40, 50. Lucky to crack two hundred plays. We're getting a fucking thousand plays a day. Yeah, that's this like is way before YouTube shit. Yeah. Well, pay pay for views like or, 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 what everyone's getting yeah. now on, on, yeah. on all fucking streaming services yeah, and that. Streams, None of that shit was yeah. around. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so the views were on MySpace. Yeah, they're on Your MySpace. Your music gets uploaded to that. Yeah. So all we, right. we, we uh, oh, I didn't know how to do it. She, yeah. she, she was a computer with so she she'd upload all our songs. You know what I mean? We, we just recorded at her house in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I mean, remember the old, the old Max? Uh, oh, Piedmont. At Piermont yep. and at uh, Rosebury. At uh, Rosebury, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Um, remember the old Max, like the Colour Max? Yeah, 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 she had one of them, fuck, and, and we just record in, in the kitchen. Yeah, you know sick. She did, all, she did all the mastering, all that sort of shit. Sound quality was trash, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like fucking. But it's not as comparative to back in the day. Yeah, they wouldn't. No one, but yeah, now no, no, the no world is shit. But back yeah, then, you know what I mean, like no, yeah. no, no one knew the difference back then. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, like, yeah. And, and what what we were rapping about, um, hadn't been done in Sydney or Australia before. Oh, so, do you yeah. know what I mean, like it's the the, the rap was. Cancel called barbecue rap. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, I know exactly. rapping about fucking having uh, chucking snags on the barbie, you yeah. know, drinking drinking beers and that. We're talking about popping tills and fucking. It's brought a whole new culture yeah, to it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. how we how we you know, can't smoke laugh, yeah. but how how we seen what we did. Like we we turn we we called a gutter rap. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So what we brought to the Australian hip hop scene with our, our sound is. Similar to what NWA did with gangster rap, yep, sort of thing. Yep, do you know what I mean? Yep. Like, there's, it was completely different sound yep. for over there. Yeah, and the you. sound that we brought is, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's sort of the equivalent. Yeah, like, yeah, I get you 100. You know what I mean? So um, automatically, just by bringing out that type, regardless of sound quality or whatever, just the the fact that you bring that culture to music, you would have had all that that's why the, the plays were mad yeah you were because you would have like um you would have clicked little, with yeah. so many kids yeah like and 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 that that was the thing back then it was it was the adelaide culture yeah like, you know what i mean like, like what they call like, it they call, now, like, yeah. call them, they call them now yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, how 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 it started was like adelaide's were like graffiti writers yeah they come from like urchers and that then you say adelaide's are a, a subculture of yeah of urchers like yep. taggers and that you know what yep, I mean yep, Those, yep. Uh, uh, the way they dress the way they talk then that's uh, that's that's how it just evolved you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. Um, and I like that how you explained it like that yeah. that Adelaide's are a subculture of urchers because you're right bro because now and you know what I've never heard anyone uh, word it that way it's always just been worded in the way that urchers turned into Adelaide's right? yeah, but that's not culture, necessarily yeah. true because 
yeah, you're right. Even back in the days of urchin, so I would have called myself an, an urchin. Yeah. I used to search, yeah, that's all right? The, that, that's, yeah, that's, and, what, that's what I label myself as. Yeah, and so, yeah, so the splex, urchin is just pretty much a thief. Yeah. Uh, a non confrontational criminal. Sneak thief. Yeah, sneak thief. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, but I wouldn't have referred my t- to myself as an Adlai because I, I never graphed. I never, like, sort of, you know what I mean? It was more. But that's that's good that um that you that you made me realise then too though mm. because I never thought of it like that. It was a subculture of an urcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, was, that's that that like there was the the Adelaide's like they were just into graffiti that some that they did a bit of crime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then there was like cunts like like me and yep. the, the older cunts that I looked up to mm. were urchers. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, Cri- uh, criminal, just full time, just full time criminals. Full-time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I, I, full time birds, career yeah. criminals. Yeah, you know what I mean, I, I did music because I've always loved music. Yeah, you know what I mean, I, I didn't say I did music as a hobby. Yeah, you know what I mean, DJ as a hobby. We we didn't get into uh, to make money off music. We yeah, didn't even yeah. we didn't even think we could make money off music. Well, yeah, it wasn't even nothing like today. Yeah, 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 nothing at all like today. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Hundred. Like, I was I was doing music just just for the love of doing music. You know what I mean? No. If, if it wasn't doing music, I was out thieving. Yeah, oh, man. So, sure. um, but how'd you get into DJing, but like, where did that come about? Sixteen, you've all of a sudden got a turntables. No, I was, I, I was going to, I started going to raise when I was about 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just fell in love with like the music, happy hardcore, hardcore, and all that. The boys all started going to raves, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. That's all started, bro. Yeah. That's what a lot of people know. Now, even the older boys from like Woolai Redfern, yeah. right, bro? And they always, even to today, mm. um, you probably know a few of them. I won't drop their names. I might have a cry. But um, <laughs> bro, they're still to today. They're just full rave heads. And, but these, these lads, full creams, full searchers. Now half of them are drug dealers. And they're just full like talk about raves. And, like, yeah. bro, and I'm thinking, like, what raves? I missed that, bro. It's all just too, you know what I mean? No, but bro, yeah. Look, they're, they're, my, they're my days, you know what yeah. I mean? I can fucking go, go on warehouse raves and that, you know I mean, like yeah. fucking 15, 16, like eating, eating trips and fucking tripping off me fucking head, fucking 15 years old, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. warehouse out in fucking Penrith, in, yeah. you know what I mean? The industrial area in Penrith, fucking. No way, that's how it was. That you know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. just, just mad shit, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Just fucking, you just get lost for fucking six, seven, eight hours, you know yeah. what I mean? No drama, no fucking, yeah, yeah, no yeah. nothing, you know what I mean? Just fucking, just kick back. Yeah, fucking, um, that, uh, I just fell in love with the music then and, um, I was even in these uh, with these older cunts. I saw like ravers, um, and she she was a DJ. She'd been DJing since like '94 or something. She yeah. had, she had Technics 1200. So that's, that's so someone what, older. Yeah, yeah, someone older. Um, so that, that that's where I um, that's that's where I first started like learning how to mix it and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just progress from there. Like mm. as I got older, when I got about you know 17, 18, that's when I first started. Uh, done my first hip hop gig yeah um, I've, I've like I started getting over happy hardcore and hardcore and that you know what I mean yeah I wanted to something different because mixing a mixing a boom 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 beat compared to a, a broken up beat like a hip hop beat yeah it's, it's a lot easier to mix a, hard, a hardcore beat which is just straight boom boom yeah, boom yeah than it is to mix a a, 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 hip, a, a broken, broken beat, beat. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean so it was progression sort of yeah, thing yeah yeah um you yeah. enjoyed it more? Yeah, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it yeah. a lot more. Even though I still, I still got all my happy hardcore and all yeah, that yeah. sort of shit, you know what I mean? I still, still listen to that here and there. Yeah, that's mine. And so what you <laughs> like, so back back then, explain the, like, it, like the, the scene and how you fit in it, bro. Like, like I can see automatic, they would have spun. Yeah. Like you were saying off camera before, like, um, he was saying like, yeah, he's um, one of my managers, he battled. He battled him twice or something. Chopped me. He chopped yeah, me. my manager chopped him this and that. You were saying about how like you were well, saying funny well, stuff. Like, so, oh, like, more, more, <laughs> more, more, more battles than that. Like, yeah. like I wasn't. Uh, I'd freestyle and I'd get drunk and freestyle, but I, I won most of my battles on intimidation. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'd, I'd be circling the can like a shark and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to choke him with my cords and that. You know what I mean? Fucking pulling box cutters out on cans. Fucking yeah. Just being a full, just being a full hoodlum. Yeah, yeah. I can't like. The fuck, John, what, the fuck <laughs> what, what can you do? You just, I remember this one time, fucking, um, just can't rap a pool, right? So I'm battling him. I got the mic, it was, it was, he was up next. I got the mic. Up. Where's this at? Lansdowne Hotel. Yeah, yeah. Just down Is here. that just here, Broadway? Yeah, just down yeah, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, had a, we had a thing running there every sa- first Saturday night of every month. We had a, like a battle night running there for about 18 months. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
so I battled him. I think it was like the finals or something. And um, this come, this come would all, would always win the battles. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought, fuck. Well, he's mad rapper. Yeah, he's mad rapper. <laughs> you know, I mean, just like what's his name again? Rapperport. Rapperport. Yeah, Joel, yeah. Joel Rapperport. Joel Rapperport. Um, right, yeah. So I don't think, why am I going to get this? He would cheer when he uses his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably won't be cheering after you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why am I going to get this cut? Oh, fuck. And I've got this. Uh, I've finished my verse and that. And we're sharing the same mic. And I put the mic down my balls. Yeah, yeah. And I rub, you know, all sweaty and that. And just passing the mic. And he's like. <laughs> Fucking the judges like that's your mic you used to catch. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Fucking nice to do. Well, you know, <laughs> just it's a bit of a shit game. Like you know, yeah. what can you do? Like that's the, yeah, that, yeah. That, that was that was more formed. You know, like, yeah, like, fucking can't can't sort of be taken aback. I wasn't the best of rappers, but I, I had the tactics. You know, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, hectic, hectic. Well, did did you used to go there with Enta and Sky? No, nah, um, I. I Originally, well, I was uh, up until I met Sky. I was going there to the battles by myself. Like that was yep. from uh, 2002, 2003, I think. Yeah, it started. Um, then uh, I was I was DJing at the events and and MC and Adam as well. well yep. uh, battling Adam, uh, Adam as well. Um, yep. and Enter was still young, you know. Yeah, we, yeah. we used to sne- we used to sneak him into a couple of venues. Yep. But it was it was very hard to get him into because he was still, yeah, he was still yeah. a kid. Yeah, he was like 15, 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like we got him in a couple of venues, but it was, yeah, not, not, I think he got into a couple of them, them shows, but a bit later on towards the end. Yeah. Um, Sky, she wasn't, she, she wasn't an MC, she, she wasn't a battle MC, she was like, um, like riding and yeah, producing, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, like that, yeah, that, yeah. that sort of shit. Uh, yeah. So she wasn't into the battling and that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what is at that time we still like going at you did you say you got out one time in 2006 yeah and you think it was there yeah. a point in time where that you just full made this was it always were those two always together like you're searching and thing or was there one time where you're just like i'm full going into the music it was never was a time when i was full focused on music yes yeah. it, so like it was just it's a hobby on the yeah, side you live in this way it's a yeah. hobby on the side it was yeah. just always something that i did you know what i mean like yeah. that's that, that's why i never focused if uh, maybe if, if i put my head down and focus fully on music yeah. i would have progressed further but it wasn't I, I, I didn't say it as i want to get myself to this spot yeah, through yeah, music yeah, yeah. It was just uh, it was a passion that I had. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I, I didn't see sure. it as, as a career or anything like that. Yeah. So even was my career. Yeah, Urchin yeah. every day was my career. You know what I mean? That's that, that, that's how I lived. That's how I fed myself. That's that's how I survived. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I wasn't making money off music. Like, yeah, I'd yeah. be lucky to get fucking when I was DJing that, like you know, fifty dollars for a fucking. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was nothing like, substantial. Nothing. Just nothing that you drink. Invest the, in. You know what I mean? Yeah, to, to, yeah, to, to, yeah, to buy a fucking barely funding your yeah. night out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I'd go out on on the money that I made Urchin that week. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's there was no money to be made in music back then. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh, unlike there is today, yeah, like yeah. there's like boys that make undos. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, it's just uh, it was a whole different scene to what yeah. it was back then. Like uh, yeah, do you know what I mean? And and, and uh, as you said before, like being, being from where, where we were from, like the the, the street culture. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We all looked at, we, like we looked down upon like like if, if we were rapping at the yeah. moment, we were like you know the oi bass and that and like but like, hard you get that yeah, yeah hard, hard. Fuck, fuck off so or like they think you're a yeah, fight cunt or something yeah right yeah, right. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah cunts get eye afraid and start rapping yeah, right. it was sort of like that yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro. oh my well, like, fucking yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was just a, a, a completely different world to what yeah. it is now like the, 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 the music game do you know what I mean yeah you know what like cause when I look back at it so obviously I didn't witness none of it I wasn't, I wasn't around I was just fucking in jail but when I look back because I look on YouTube and I see yeah. like the you know, at, at battles and I see yeah. like do you get battles with Cursor and I see yeah yeah, yeah but, um, I, I don't think I ever battled Cursor no no battle but like yeah, I see him like I've, I think I've I seen battles DJing. and you're next to yeah, him yeah I was, I was DJing for him like I, I actually when he was doing them, uh, them got beef battles, he he told me, he goes, "Come on, battle this kind." Yeah. So I went up um, Brisbane and I, I battled. Who not fucking battle? Um, man, he's come from fucking Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like three, f- f- like they were written battles. 
I come to my second verse and I just fucking, I just completely went blank, bro. I just fucking just stressed out and that, fuck this shit. Oh, man. no way. I mean, what can you do? But yeah, <laughs> I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that, yeah. You know, yeah. I was just, it was just, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I can't, I've, I've never battled anyone. But I reckon it'd be hard. Is it hard? It's, it's, it's not hard, like, if, if, if you're not thick skinned, then it's not for you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, was, I was going in. What do you mean in terms of taking the disses? Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I was going in. I was saying some rotten things about yeah. your name. Fucking. Like, you got to remember yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's that, 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 that's what. Like, I used, to be, I used to be a shit you can't tell. I used to write down punchlines and that on a piece oh, of paper. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to yeah, yeah. fucking have it in your pocket. Just yeah. pull it out and oh, I'll use this one <laughs> and that one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah. Um, well, that was one of the tricks like, to, towards, you know, after I've been battling for a while, for, fuck, I keep forgetting punchlines in yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just just on the ice. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just <laughs> um, But yeah, like, as I said, like, some rotten things get said, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, fuck, I've seen yeah, it. I used to say some, I used yeah. to say some <laughs> horrid, horrid things, no, Full, right? uh, no, you know what I mean? People's unmazed and yeah, yeah, misses, and, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, if you haven't got thick skin, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, most yeah. of the boys they just be straight on chance. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, most of the boys we grow up with. Some of the young boys, some of the young boys are fucking <laughs> rapping here, lad. <laughs> yeah, exactly oh my right, God, what are you talking about, lad? <laughs> Keep it to rap, mother. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Exactly yeah. that, but like fucking, I remember I had, uh, another one of the gigs at Lance down. I had a couple of young boys with me. Yeah. And he was he's he's a bit of a hothead. This can't fucking battling this can't. And this kind of like I just been fucking slamming the kind of battling is like slamming his mum, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> just, just just fucking saying some rotten things, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and he threw one back. Mom, <laughs> he threw one back at me, and me, me little buzz trying to he jumped up on stage with a hammer. Trying to say, "What are you doing, that? Like you can't because no, oh, he's no, fucking no, talking no. about mine. Like, you can't do that. Bro. Look what I just been saying about his mum, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, like yeah. he can't jump up here and do that. You know what I mean? It's two way streets, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean. Like it's yeah. But if, when I look back, like at what you've done um, and like how you said you introduced the, uh, our culture to yeah. rap um, and called the gutter rap bro that is I, I swear to god the biggest step to normalize to, you know what like I don't know bro I might be just winging it here but like if you think about what bring Australian hip hop today so acceptable because Australian hip hop's not new no. Right, and it's not. It wasn't even new when you were rapping. No, no, no. Because no. like I remember, I went to a KRS One concert, right? And the blokes who opened for KRS One was um, Deathwish Cast. Bro, they were yeah. Deathwish Cast. Yeah. Yeah. How did you know that? How did you know that? Brother? They, yeah, Deathwish Cast. Cast. Deathwish Cast. A lot. The point is, yeah, like, yeah Deathwish Cast. Right? And then like, so I didn't know who they were. Yeah. So me and the boys there, KRS One, because I bumped him. Funny story. I bumped him in. Uh, bro, he's mad, cunt. He's mad, cunt, bro. I was walking through. Um, Bondi Westfields, all right, 2000, just before I got inch paid, 2000, started 2012, and I had like a white gant shirt on, just finishing the gym, and I just look, bro, I just see, bro, he's giant, and I'm tall, and this bloke is tall, bro, he's like six foot six, and like mixture between fat and solid, must be like 140 kilos, and I looked, and I just went, bomb, like, I, went, I just pointed at him, bro, and he goes, what up, blood, like that, you know, <laughs> and I go, bro, if I get a texter, can you please sign my shirt when I got him he goes yeah and he pointed over to his missus and he's uh, he was happy bro because think about it too Karis one was famous in like 80s yeah right he's gonna walk around Bondi no one's gonna know who yeah, he is right. no, you know what yeah. I mean no uh, one unless you're a pure hip hop unless head. you're pure yeah. so that when I seen him he was happy too he's like bro I'm on the other side of the world in a rich suburb and it's 2012 and someone knew me yeah. so he was happy in the same way you know so I ran I was going give me a text I was going like a madman in the shop said bomb by me just man, ran out and I went over to his missus, he's, he had prams there. His missus even said hello to me. And I, bro, he, goes, hold, he goes, hold your shirt straight. And I held it straight. And lad, he bombed my shirt, mums, for like two, three minutes. Yeah, fuck that. He bombed my shirt. He done KRS-1 2012. He drew Sydney. He done all clouds around there. He done a spray can down there, bro. Look. Yeah, it's hectic. What a mad on, you know what I mean? I'm hard up just taking a photo with lads. Like, people say, hey, this is some guy. That's a full fucking mural on your shirt, man. on my shirt, bro, and I got locked up anyway. And uh, like, anyway, I went missing. I left it with my missus and I got out and, and it, um, never seen it again. But anyway, what's the moral of that story? That's how I ended up at, um, because he said to me, he goes, um, he goes, I was just doing a commercial down Bondi Beach and I'm going to do, um, 
uh, I'm go- he goes, are you coming to the Enmore Theatre? <laughs> like, he must have thought that I already knew. So I'm not going to say nah. So I'm just going, of course I'm coming, lad. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, of course, but I had no idea. Yeah, but so anyway, I bought tickets. Yeah. Legit, I've been to two rap, sh- rap shows in my life. It's him and Vinny Paz. But I went there anyway. Moral of the story. I know that's a big sidetrack. Anyway, Death Wish cast. Get back to the moral of the story. Death Wish cast. Um, they opened and they've been rapping in. They're from Sydney. Death Wish cast. They were like the 80s. 80s, now. bro. No, like, yeah. yeah. Say, but not accepted. Like, not normalized. They're like B Boys and that, you know what I mean? Like, they, 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 they were original graffiti writers and B Boys yeah. and, you know, pop lock and dropping and you know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah, sort of yeah. shit. Then, then they've gone into fucking into hip hop and like that. They, they were the first, like, one of the first. I can't say they were the first because I think there was probably uh, uh, others before them. Yeah. But they were the first like ones to like blow up. Yeah. As much as you could in them days, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, in that yeah. early yeah. stage of, of hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um. Like. Yeah. They, they, they were like the the cool Herks and the fucking and yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and the fabulous five and all that. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, of Australia. 100, 100, yeah. 100, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So like that's that's why like. So they, they were around, right? Those rap, rappers, 80s, 90s, whatever, and all the, all the ones that we all know, Hilltop Hoods and all them. But I feel that what you like with gutter rap, whoever got the appreciation back then, and I honestly don't think that it still gets the appreciation now, I can honestly say that that was the step to, to slowly, not when you started, mm. Probably not even during while you were doing it, no. but the what reaped from it was after you stopped. Yes. Is that like so you don't you introduced it and you're like, listen, we don't got to be like, I don't want to. Oh, I'm gonna this like it's not a diss to this lad, right? But I'll tell you, uh, uh, this is a true fact, bro. And I've spoken to to lads in jail and this and that. And everyone always uses, you know, hilltop hoods. You know the lad with the shaved head. You know hilltop hoods. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, do you know their names? Safa. Pressure. Is pressure the one with the shaved head? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. And he raps in the weird voice. Yeah. It's gone down yeah. like that. <laughs> but that bloke, good on him, bro, for their success. But that bloke single-handedly turned the entire Sydney city, Sydney, off Aussie hip hop. Because I'd say to anyone, I rap, and then they go, "Don't they rap like it's gone down like that?" Yeah. Yeah. That bloke, bro, he killed. And then it's like I personally in jail had to go through this long like stretch of like okay man, it doesn't have to be like that you can rap about like Adlai stuff you know and so like you you, you normalised it yeah. you you and like Sydney and Sky and, and Anta and yeah. um, Cursa and stuff you just yeah. normalised it yeah. Bro. and um, yeah bro. and they wouldn't have got the appreciation at the time and I, and I know 100% what you would have copped you would have copped all them like bogan rappers, whatever they are, like yeah, doing the, the whole yeah. yeah, yeah, Shane, you're a Centrelink Unky J yeah, yeah, that, that, that BS, yeah, yes, they're full despise. They're full you know despise. You know what I love? Look at the victory. Yeah. They hate it, bruh, because you know Australians bar, it's the funniest thing, but a little ran on like this. Tall poppy syndrome. A hundred percent. And bruh, like here, all right, here, what do we have, bro? What do we have that is, I'm not going to get into the whole Australia, we've got no culture, this and that. There are things that are Australian, right? But what what, at what generation, all right, going back, look at the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. At what time did the Aussie kids actually become like their own people? You know what I mean? They start mm. their own lingo in their own unique way. And yeah. what they call as derogatory ways, earth shows, mm. right now. Well, that's, 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 that, that's probably another subculture of Adlai. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, it probably yeah, is, yeah. yeah. And and that's what I always find funny, bro, is that like, fin- like finally, and I know people will be, what do you mean? That's not the first. Did you ever hear about the bombers? And they shut up, bro. Listen, this is the most relevant. They're gone and dusted, aren't they? So what the most relevant is, is that like, it's a, it's a culture. It's an Australian made culture. What can I do this? Maybe some of the dress style is taken from the UK or America but as a whole it was unique to us and mm-hmm. you know what and the, the tall poppy syndrome our own country can't cop it no our own country can't cop it bruh no. it's like bruh if, what <laughs> anyway I'm not gonna get into that rant bruh anyway but you get the point yeah, I, 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 I agree with you whole you get what I'm trying to say hey, bro. it's yeah, like bruh they appreciate it yeah fucking like, so what they speak in pig Latin they smoke cigarettes and they have their thing hanging there so what what do you do? What do you do? Mr. Plane go to work every day and do nothing. 
Huh? What do you do? Where's your culture? What's unique about you? You know what I'm saying? Exactly right. Bad haters in this country. But so I can imagine mm. that would have been there, like, because you were different. Mm. And um, yeah, there was the, the, there was a lot of like, you know, I mean, like, uh, these kinds of being drama to to gigs, which yeah. It, 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 guilty it, yeah, yeah guilty fuck guilty <laughs> alright guilty you, you got us no I mean like yeah you're fucking yeah, yeah you're fucking hook on the scene <laughs> <laughs> no I mean but like because of that you know like uh, a lot of the boys would come and you know I mean can't be getting bottled can't be getting glass and fucking you know they'd be fucking <laughs> 20 hour balls and that you know what I mean I'm, I'm, I'm there behind the deck stage and that thinking fuck all the oil base come with me and fuck oh, and the cunts look at me like do something I'm like fuck you know what I mean, there's nothing much that I can do, really. Yeah. Except just, you know what I mean, just, just like, boys, if he's going to come, don't come. Do you know what I mean? If he's going to come and fucking start trouble, don't come because, <laughs> or, over the years, what had happened, we had just, say, maybe 15, 20 venues. Mm. Towards him, we had maybe three or four venues, five venues, a handful around of venues. Sydney? Yeah, around Sydney, because... From, from the boys, yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Bo- yeah. Boys coming in, starting trouble, fucking... Purses and bags getting stolen, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Oh, don't leave your bags here, fucking ad lazy here. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like shit oh, like that's that. It. Yeah. How did you, let me ask you something too, bro. Um, how did you cop? Uh, did you, so when I started, right, because I'm like, whatever, they controversial or outspoken or whatever it is mm. to make everyone else insecure to feel the need to just constantly, whatever, talk shit on the internet. Mm. A lot of people talk shit to you on the internet. Bruh, Plenty. Fuck me. I know, that's what I'm saying. Bruh, the YouTube you comments, bruh, the All YouTube right. comments I used to cop, bruh, like, fuck How did you handle me. it, bruh, at the start? I want to kill cunts. Yeah. <laughs> I want to fucking kill cunts down, bruh, I want to fucking, I want to fucking bruh. chop their mums, fucking chop their fucking <laughs> yeah. whole family. Oh, bruh, I want to slice cunts the fuck up, bruh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and like, my brother and Sky used to have a fucking laugh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how I worked up, I used to get yeah, over these comments. Yeah. Like, they used to say, Skies, don't, don't, don't read the comments, like, you know, I mean, some yeah. of the things the cats are saying, if I can, like, it's yeah, pretty yeah, fucking yeah. harsh, you know. But after a while, like, for these cats are sitting behind a fucking computer with yeah. a fake fucking, you know, a fake name, you know what I mean? Typing all this mad shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking saying some fucking rotten things. Yeah. But if, if that was to see me in the street, they know who I was, but I wouldn't know who they were, and they wouldn't say what they're saying on the okay. internet. They're you know your I mean? fans. It's, it's, they either pretend they don't exactly know you, right. or they ask for a photo, yeah. or photos probably didn't exist then. But yeah. like they, bro, like, look, and that's the, that, that's the thing. Like, like everyone's, you know, like how our music used to get passed around back then was like um, Bluetooth. You know? Everyone, yeah, 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 put their phones together. You know, like, oh, oh, no, oh, you got a new Sydney yeah. song, bang, bang, bang. That's how it all spread around. You know, yeah. what I mean, like every kind of had it on their phones back then, on their fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, their, on their old Nokia's and that. Oh, that's like, sick. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Before fucking iPhones and all that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. fucking, like it was, it was crazy how, how how we seen how our music would spread. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I remember one song I gave it to my nephew. Within like three, three or four weeks, whole of fucking Sydney's got the card. Like from fucking, no way. From Hurstville to North fucking Shore to fucking to Glebe I mean, to fucking man. like it. It was crazy how how. Like I, I seen how, how was there it's visuals like to it? Like because like you said Bebo or MySpace. Yeah, did they have a visual platform? Was there they, somewhere you could post photos? Was yeah, that's photos? That, that's what it was. You used to, you used to post photos and that. Oh, I mean, like, so they knew your face. Yeah. Oh yeah. So even back then, like say, because you say like the scene was ten times smaller. Yeah. You would have found that you were walking hoods and people like bah like they knew yeah, well, you were. That's, that's, well, back then, or yes, schema? Yeah, back yeah, then, back yeah, that's schema. Yeah, like, that's yeah. That, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't you now. Every cat knows knows everybody's face now. But yeah. back then, it, it was it was it was a lot like you. You weren't as as known as you are now. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. photos and all that wasn't around. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it wasn't a full vision. Yeah, thing. It, yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Um, like I, I had some of me, my younger brother's mates using my name to fucking chop girls and that. Do you oh, know no what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Because fuck, because they don't even know better. Yeah, they, yeah do you know what I mean? Like, like, you heard my new song, the City Search. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm scared. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, fucking man, that's, that's, that's me. I'm, that's my verse. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Fucking man, and he's 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 there, he's there chopping the ice lays and that. Like in the back cars of trains, I'm thinking, bah, ain't going fucking using my name to fucking, you know what I mean? To to play our dubs in the back car and that. It's fucking. It's it's not on. Like um. Yeah, yeah I was curious like that you bruh because like the first time um 
back when I started, it's funny because I just put a little rant out on social media now, but like when I started rapping, it was the same, same shit. It's just, but you think you're a man, can't you shit, you're nothing, you're never going to get anywhere, this and that. Mixed with like personal disses and yeah. I know a lot of the funniest things, by the people that are closest to you, I don't know if you experienced this, I'm not going to generalize it, but the people that were closest to me were my biggest haters, bro, because I had the most vicious comments that back in the days when I used to take notice of comments, now they're just analytics to me, but mm. the most vicious of comments were accounts that were, you know, you click on accounts newly created, mm -hmm. you know, newly created accounts that were talking personal things of of very close mates. It's a guarantee that at least once a week I would have comments on my YouTube or on my Instagram of somebody that I know yeah. Yeah. enters my own home. Yeah. It's that putrid. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous and but like, anyway, you, well, that's human how, how, how nature. These cats be saying this. Like, yeah. Nah, it's these these cats are from the inner circle for these cats to be saying this shit, you know what I mean? No, 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 these people knew these people like, knew, like, like they, the they last time I picked my shit. nose, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, they, 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 these cats are like fucking these cats yeah. know too much to be fucking yeah, like bro. it's, and it's and too close to home. And I used to take like I swear to god the first um maybe Six months, bruh. I used to, the first six months I started rapping, I used to fool like exactly yeah, how you used to. I used to, but I swear, I'm gonna own up to it, right? <laughs> Mums. One time, all right, so I go in there. Anyone, this is, was my viewpoint before. I didn't know how to harness the negativity, and mm. which is how I created who I am now by harnessing the negativity. Thank you, naysayer. <laughs> but, um, but like, so I used to think, I used to really believe that if somebody went on there and said bad stuff about me, mm. all right, I used to think that that comment had the power to influence people and turn people against yes, me. Yes. I didn't know that it doesn't, all right? I just did, so I used to quickly delete them. That's oh, exactly what I used quickly to do. Delete yes, them. Yes, delete them. Oh, I'll tell you one oh, thing, oh. I went another step further, all right? I'm revealing secrets for you, all right? I full made a bodgy account, <laughs> all right? I'll name Paul Watson or whatever. Paul Watson <laughs> had some like box. I, I actually I think I put like a scary person's like um, I put like a I think I put like a common chair um, uh, uh, what is it called thumbnail or so like they don't argue on my bike and I, and I know, yeah but so I'm Paul Watson the common chair right listen and I full went into my YouTube and I was like backing up Spanian I was saying like bro that's how much of, that's how much of a loser I was yeah bro so I had two accounts on my phone this is a long time ago relax alright I pay people to do it now nah I'm joking um no, so like um, that's, that, that, man, I went in there. Nice, I went in there as Paul Watson. I'm going. Don't talk shit about Spanian. I was in the main with him. He's solid like that, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, like, but so, but yeah, like I said, um, oh, I used to. No. Then I noticed, bro, like, what, 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 um, bro, the way you think about it, the best way you think about it is, bro, you know. You know all those peasants you walk past on the street? All right, I don't mean to say it in a negative way, but you know, just like, just absolute gronks. Anything from a drunk on the side of the road to a ranting junkie to a mentally ill person to uh, a copper to anyone can buy a phone and start an account. Mm -hmm. Anyone. These comments that are there, like, they're from people that, like, probably yell at themselves. Yep. In, in, in the street and so like you can't think of those all you have to look at is every comment is just shows the expansion of your channel and and, and, and uh, like, what, like expanding on that like there was this one kind of he, he, he was slamming me for years this kind of right like he was <laughs> slamming me I blocked him like six times and he'd, he'd still come back with all different accounts now mate <laughs> like fucking no and, way. One, and one day fucking I ended up he was, he was fucking ringing, Facebook calling me or something fucking, and I ended up a answering the call and yeah. having a yarn with him yeah. no I ended having a yarn for, fucking for about like, so I used to bite back hard you know yeah, what I mean like yeah. fucking cunts, cunts used to think they were getting under my skin but I, I used to enjoy the, the banter you know, the back yeah, and forth you know yeah. what I mean like some like, comebacks and yeah, that, you know yeah. what I mean like fucking he's kind of it's entertaining a bit yeah, 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 yeah it was, yeah, it was yeah. entertaining like fucking this cunt goes uh Fucking, I don't know, he said something else. He goes, uh, you, your mother should have named you such and such. I said, yeah, your mother should have named you should have swallowed. You know what I mean? Like, 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 you know what I, mean? I, used, yeah. I, I, I used to have a laugh myself, you know what I mean? But this can't fucking, I, I, I answered the call. I ended up having a yarn for him for about half an hour. He's completely turned the tables. He's like, you know, you're actually a good cunt's case. He goes, yeah. I didn't think you were like this, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the, the, the persona that, that I, I used to, the, the internet persona um, and and me in real life they're two mm. different people do you know what I mean yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's the, the entertainer and the real person yeah. do you know what I mean mm. like it's a, 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 at the end of the day 
music it's, it's it's show business yeah. you know what I mean it's it's the entertainment yeah, industry sure. do you know what I mean so yeah. like what 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 and and this this is another thing that that the kids need to realize with with rappers and and and, and all that sort of shit yeah they might be talking about this and that you know what I mean yeah. fucking guns fucking di- a lot of these cunts don't do that shit you know what I mean of like course it's, not. It's, it's, yeah. it's a persona you know what I mean it's, it's, yeah. they're, they're, they're rapping what you want to hear yeah you know what I, mean? I would call it that I would call it um, I wouldn't say that a lot of look a lot of people are fake alright not that I ever judge me personally I don't ever judge a rapper no. on their fakeness no. or realness I like good rappers like yeah. me I, I like my favourite rappers are Crazy Bone and uh, Passionate MC alright they are in no way gangsters mm. no way gangsters alright like but they rap about killing people so I don't judge them on that I, for me it's not a cool guy contest I don't say you haven't got you haven't even killed no one don't rap about that I just like the way they rap music's music to me I would say like um, a lot of, with, with that what the point you're saying is about like um, it, it's show business I think it is it's not always that somebody will fake a character alright I wouldn't say that no. in any way faking a character I would say that you just be your character over the top yeah you know what I mean yeah. so like everything that you've grown up doing everything that you know about everything you've been around and the way you've talked you just you're putting it on steroids exactly and you're just right. going bang 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 this is me you know what I mean it's, and it's like you know what I'm saying so it's, it's not being fake no it's just like um, it's, it's, it's playing it out yeah like over the top you know like a, a perfect example with this alright um, my favorite, my, like back in the day, my favorite rap was Necro. I yep, used yep. to fucking love yeah, Necro. Just, I used to, I used to love. I love that like, death rap album. Like his, 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 his beats, his yeah. verses, everything. He's even a mad lyricist. Like, yeah. like he, he really was. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? What to support him when he, yep. when he come to Australia? Oh, hectic. You know what I mean? Fucking hectic. so. I'm backstage now, a bottle of Hennessy and a bag of coke. He's about to come on stage. I'm like, you want to drink, bro? Yes. No, homeboy, I don't drink. I'm yeah. like. <laughs> so you want to run a coke bar? He's like, nah, I, I don't do coke. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck do you do? Oh, no like, like, way. You fucking serious? Like, what's, what's on any drugs? You fucking, you know what I mean? Like a full Buddhist. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I said, you fucking fake can. Oh, but I was shattered, lad. Like, you know oh, what I mean? No, like, you know what I mean? Because he's got songs like, you know, I fucking, yeah, yeah, like, on any drugs, you know what I mean? Like, fucking, and all shit like that. And the cunts, and I don't drink, homie. I, I, I don't, I don't take drugs. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck do you do? Yeah. Look, look all this shit you're rapping about. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that, that, that was real. Like that, that was like that let me down, bro. Yeah, fair That that deflated my balloon. Bro, I would like. say definitely that his style of rap, what you call horrorcore death yeah. rap, that's definitely has to be an act. Oh, like that's not even like what I was saying an exaggeration of a real persona. That's just dead set, like. Yeah. You just got some anyone that like he probably grew up watching horror movies, so he's just playing them out in lyrics. Yeah, like, I mean, like, uh, Il Bill as well. I supported him. Um, I love Il Bill too. But Il, Il Bill's a good cunt. Is he? He's used to back red. Um, I like him and, too. And, yeah. and the cunt put put the the put the show on didn't didn't whack up with Ash K. Yeah. And the thing, this can't take a turn, bar. Uh, Il Bill Il fucking Bill. there. He. he he turned it on, bar. Oh yeah, fucking. Yeah. If he turned it on, I was like, "Fuck, look at this cat." No way. You know what I mean? This, this cat's all right. <laughs> Where was this at? Bar, that, would, that would be a, a, a Gaelic club in the back lane of Gaelic club. Where's that? At Central, See, just on. Oh yeah, at Strawberry Hills. At Strawberry Hills, yeah, yeah. Down the road from Strawberry Hills Hotel. Oh, that's mental. So, so Ill Bill come and perform at a pub in Surrey Hills. Yeah, yeah. It was, I was. Uh, it's. Club, pub, yeah, bar. Yeah. It's, it was f- full of music. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, live music venue. He came with the back red and what he was promised, it didn't eventuate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And this promoter who it was, he's notorious for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. He's notorious for it. No way. You know what I mean? Fuck. And he's, he's, yeah. his name's been dragged through the mud, but he's, he dragged his own name through the mud. Yeah. And, um, you will just turn it the fuck on, lad. Like yeah. I was like, fuck, dude, this guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> fuck, this guy, you know what I mean? He's, yeah. he's, he's, and he, he, him and Necro are meant to be brothers. Yeah. I mean, this guy's got a lot more dash than fucking Necro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, it's I funny because Necro raps the, yeah, yeah. the serial killer. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But yeah. it, it, it was like, you know, he's, he's sort of like the, the more quieter one, but yeah. same, bro, he turned the cunt on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going on with no it, way. It's going on with it, bro. It's fucking knife. That'd be mental memories, bro. Like that's, that, that, that I remember even times. just getting a glimpse of Vinnie Paz on stage, and I still remember that. I'm like, bro, I've seen Vinnie Paz. But you're like kicking backstage yeah, with Phil Bill, backstage, bro. Yeah, kicking backstage, you know what I mean? I'm fucking yeah. with him in that. Fucking, um... It's another time, um, 
little uh, little easy he come out yeah same, same promoter brought him out he brought him out with fucking bone fugs and that yeah and fucking he was in the same venue Gaelic club I was fucking I was knee deep in a bottle of fucking Hennessy blind drunk fucking drinking fucking um, tequila shots all night but I'm gonna try and rob these cunts no way <laughs> And they had their, their bone. <laughs> no, 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 little oh, a little a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they had their, their iced out pieces on and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grabbed this chain and that, turn him out. He's saying it's real diamonds there, you know, it's got breathing holes in it. Well, you grabbed that while it's on him. Yeah, while it's on him. While it's on his neck. I just grabbed it. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, nah, just saying if it's got breathing holes in that, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathing holes, bro. Get the fuck off me. He'll be right, bro. No way. No way, no fuck, man. Yeah, but I, was, I used to fucking run amok with all these fucking. Cause like, I, I, I used to turn it on. This is this is my this is my state. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're in my country now, can't. Sure. Do you know what I mean? It's it. You you might be gangsters over there, wherever the fuck yeah, you come yeah, from. Yeah. Or, 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 you you think you are. Yeah. You're in my streets now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, fucking. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We we turn it the fuck on. You're rolling up back lanes in Surrey. Yeah, you're right? no, no no fucking down, man. Exactly right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're yeah, just a civilian here. Exactly right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that. all you are. Do you know what I mean? Getting around thinking, thinking you're fucking man, gangster cunts who be yeah. fucking. I think they were fucking aluminum with fucking cubic zirconias in the oh, cunt no, anyway. Right. They probably were. Right? <laughs> 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 Mums, they all wear that. Like fucking like they because it's funny, bro. Because even though we're Aussie rappers, the thing that comes from that we didn't grow up on Aussie rap music. Yeah, I think so because because uh, you're saying the same names like Ill yeah. Bill and, yeah. and stuff, and that's what I grew up on. Exactly right. And it's like mean? once you're into that, like Diabolic and and Necro and Vinnie Paz, Jet mm-hmm. on Mind, AOT, and once you're into that, Brian, it's like it's hard to get away. And yeah, well, that's that, that that's that's the shit I listen to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like fucking now. Where, where the music scene is now, yeah. it's fucking banging. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It can go. It can only go up, up, yeah. up and beyond. Hmm. Which, which I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of. Okay, nice. Um, because in a way, I feel that I, I laid, of course, part of the groundwork. Like I you said, know what I mean? Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, with with what we with what what we did with Gutter Rap. Do you know what I mean? Fucking. Well, imagine you didn't. <laughs> imagine you didn't. So imagine the, the the most relevant rappers we'd have to us if you didn't that have any sort of like uh, like grasping like success would be Bliss and Esso, and that was that's and and if if you can call it that that's the, that's the, 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 yeah that's that's like what flowers in the pavement that was you know what I mean like that's, that's, that's what sort of shit I mean, you know what I mean? like fucking <laughs> putting fucking flowers down fucking pistols and that you that's, know what I mean? like, that's what I mean bro that's what I mean and that's like because I remember they filmed a clip down the block once and they tried to make it yeah. Sydney relevant and I'm not trying to run yeah. down on them I actually like the rapper Bliss bro yeah. yeah, actually, I've, I've, I've done shows and they're good yeah, bro, you know Bliss, I mean? like actually mad yeah. lyricist bro so I'm, I don't mean that in any way about running them down and but they themselves they, know they, 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 then they're they, not relevant yeah, to us exactly right they, yeah. they know and they've said it before you know we're, we're, we're two completely worlds yeah, like, yeah, two yeah. completely different worlds so you know what if, I mean? if you didn't do that which led to like say and then enter going on and fucking kill and then curse obviously absolutely accident fucking which hell. all stemmed from that i don't know where how how would it have been introduced that the kids even today I don't think it would have. It would have. It would have. The, 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 the street element, uh, fr- f- the Sydney street element, yeah. would not have been introduced to Australian hip hop, Sydney sure. hip hop. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Like, because me- me- Melbourne, like th- th- this is the thing, like, like urchins and that. That's a Sydney thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like the the the, the way the way we uh, uh, might might have migrated down to Melbourne. Do you know what I mean? Spread all around Australia, but was born and bred in Sydney. Do you know what I mean? Mm. For sure. And and, and that. Element what we like rapped about. Everything else in Australia. No, I mean like the dress code. The dress code. You know what I mean? Like fucking Keanu's, fucking yeah. all that. Melbourne wasn't on that. Melbourne was was hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like fucking graffiti, graffiti hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sydney was more. Uh, Sydney was crims first. Yeah. Then then hip hop, graffiti, and all that yeah, sort of yeah, shit. Yeah. All of them all of them fused together. Melbourne was hip hop graffiti yeah. first. You know what I mean? And there's a couple of crooks down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different sort of crooks in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Um. And if if we didn't introduce that element into it, there'd be no, there'd be none of that yeah. N- now. Yeah, there'd be none of it. Be how stop. it was before. Yeah, you know, it'd, it'd be yeah. a barbecue rap. You know, yeah, can't, yeah. can't still rapping about chucking fucking snags in the barbie, yeah, fucking yeah. drinking piss, fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of like even just in the the recent history, your history of of rapping over the last twenty years, a lot of stuff that's like uh, the paved the way that should be appreciated. That's 
Yeah, like close a, to uh, forgotten by yeah, it's, well, exactly not right. known. Yeah, it, it's not known. It's that's not what known, it's not known yeah. because because the social media platforms weren't around in our days. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like YouTube was just starting when, when, when we started doing music and that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like YouTube, like we we were still trying to figure it out back then. Do you know what I mean? We didn't know you could blow up so mm. much off YouTube. Like do you know what I mean? Like fucking now, from what we did, the the artists of today. Maybe because they've got managers and fucking and and the labels, the labels, the ears, are, the ears are perked up. They're like, yeah. well, hang on, we can make ash can off these yeah, cats. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We're yeah. gonna swoop in and fucking swindle these cats. For sure. You know what I mean? Like we, we, we never had none of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like we was doing it all our own backs. Fucking, we yeah. weren't doing it for ash We were doing it for the love music. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we do shows for free in that. Now I can't see getting you know thirty, sixty grand a show on that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Good on them. Fucking off. M- much love. But that wasn't a thing. That wasn't a thing in our days. Now like. If, and if we hadn't done that, we wouldn't have laid the groundwork for what cunts are achieving today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cunts are eating, cunts are eating man, of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Which I'm, I'm super proud of. I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know what I mean? As I said, the, the only way, the, it's, it's only going onwards and upwards. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I like it too. It's like, a, also from a point of view, as a, a documentation of Sydney's urchic culture. Yeah. Which I also try to do. And what, like, the way that you've done in your music. Yeah. Which I also try to do in yeah, fucking most yeah, most of my fucking things I say on social media, it's like, 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 talks and like from what what we were doing yeah. then, it's like you you took the torch and ran with it, you know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. like you were even though you were from exactly the same time doing yeah. exactly the same thing, even though you were younger than me, yeah. you were still knee deep in the fucking game, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You you popped into the rap game a lot later. Yeah. Murked it, like fucking yeah. coming like with some crazy shit you know what I mean like yeah, the shit yeah. that Australia hasn't heard before yeah. you know what I mean and you ignited the the urcher yeah, you know yeah, what I mean like yeah. you, you you yeah no well that's not what it was, it was a purposeful yeah, thing exactly right. it was, it was, it was like it was like fucking um, a, a, a forgotten a forgotten yeah. time it was you know what I mean was. and because like say I'll cop like I'll let, you know you hear the old yarn is like you shouldn't be talking about that like you're, if you're rude you wouldn't say it you wouldn't listen this and this and it's like bah it's done and straight, dusted straight out it is done and dusted. The things we talk about, the things that I say, anything that I, in, anything that he previously rapped about, anything that I say in my hood talks, we done this, whatever it is from Urchin Cast, it's, it doesn't exist. No, all right. And this is what a, little, a lot, because there's a lot of spiteful searches and this and that. Like, and then like, but I'm a better searcher than you, Spaniard. How come everyone's listening to you, listening to me? You shouldn't be telling people just in spite, bro. Yeah. But really, they're living in the past, right? Nobody, there's no searches no more. There's no tactics no more, right? No. I, I am trying to document, even in uh, even in my previous podcast, trying to document an era of Sydney, mm-hmm. or a street era of Sydney that was around during your music. Mm-hmm. That if it, it will dis- disappear, you may say for the better or the worse, whether it disappears, that's irrelevant. If you don't care about it, change the channel, lad. Right. But like, um. That's what I said. That's what I try to do, bro. And um, yeah. And I never thought that this this is this is like a, a good way. Like I want to end this, bro. Is that mm. I would never have thought that even music or some type of fame, whatever you want to call this whole game of fame and and Bebo and internet and YouTube, has any way relevant to a platform of our culture. Where we come from a culture of people like how we were, just stay in the shadows, don't say nothing to no one. Being like, what's yeah. Facebook? Yeah. Boys, I got boys like legit, all right? Like, like a be- he's not barely hanging around anyone. Two of the uh, my closest YWB boys that got out of that, and they had to use Facebook. Actually, one is so dumb, right? He's getting mums, bro. One of the boys, <laughs> Gordy. But right now he's getting he ca- he's getting scammed by a Chinese woman that doesn't speak English <laughs> that has made seventy four thousand dollars in cryptocurrency and wants to invest his money and he full thinks he's got this Chinese dub and he's got bah look I just got this random message on Facebook she loves me lad look at her lad she's crypto rich this is how dumb the boys are right this is how dumb they are and he won't cop her no he's like bro it's a scam is it's not lad she answers but um <laughs> it's probably some fucking bloke bruh I swear. Yeah, lad. Um, but apparently he's going to meet her in two weeks or something. So we'll see who rolls up. Um, but point is, is that like coming from where where I'm from, because like you said, I only just popped up. 2017 is when I finished my jail career, whatever. I would never have thought that there's 
any place for us to talk about or to even like it's not glorifying but no. it's documenting what yeah, we it went is. through yeah. and it's documenting important street sydney culture exactly. that we right. own and you know what and i'm and i'm proud of it that's why when i speak my yarns they think like i'm glorifying or, or they, they want they want they want us to be apologetic they want us to be apologetic. They want us to talk like, oh, sorry, we were bad kids and yeah, Sydney was really bad. It's like, but, but we were products of our environment. hundred. Oh, and man. I'm glad it's documented, bro. And um, you're, like I said, bro, and you're, um, you set that pavement for it to be documented. Even yeah. though, oh, yeah, I am here. I'm the one with the big, big podcast. I'm the one with the big, like, whatever. And yeah, but... Would this podcast even exist if you didn't come out and cop all that slack of being, you know what I'm saying? Probably not. Like, yeah, probably no, not. Rocket, I would have never got out yeah. and fought yeah. because well, you right. wouldn't have done that yeah. and I wouldn't have fought that. I would have still hid the fact that I yeah. rapped. I would have thought right. it was onky shit. Yeah. We don't rap, bro. I'm just a cool immunal cray, you know? Fucking know. So that's it, brother. So yeah. a lot of, a lot, you think of it like that, bro. That's, yeah. that's a good perspective, brother. A lot of um, Jews need to be um, paid Fuckin to up. you for that, brother. And um, yeah, it's good that we got that out, bro. And, um, that's it, brother. What a podcast. Thank you for coming on. Oh, skaters, lad. The polo ingress of Australia, lad. Snow, pie ingress, lad. Let's go. Oh,